let's go to Tobias. We Harris. also so we can springboard Needed with a, there's a super chat from Baba DJ who said now that Tobias survived the trade deadline, <laughs> if he plays like trash, Nick Nurse got to bench him. His contract expires at the end of the season. We also had a super chat from Mr. Rudy Pooh coming off of that. I did see this joke on uh, on Twitter earlier, so not sure if this is an original joke from you Mr. Don't Rudy need to, Pooh. The shame are people who are giving us super chats. But Come Mr. Rudy now. Pooh said to- Toby has an elite ability to be the fourth best player on the team, no matter the circumstances. Honestly. I think that's being generous and I'm, to him I'm, after I'm, that performance. I'm giving our guy the benefit of the doubt. He came up with it. Everyone else on Twitter stole it from okay. him. Okay, <laughs> okay, cool. Because we were talking about it earlier. Yeah. We, we we referenced it earlier. We saw that. Didn't know. No, so if Rudy you Poo- give us money, you are the originator. <laughs> there you Absolutely. go. Absolutely. There you go. Um, that Listen. That's I, the worst Tobias game in a while. In a while. As, as we said it earlier... There were those 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 lineups that were without Tobias Harris that were a, a positive out there on the floor. And at one point, I looked to the guys and said, he can't be on the floor right now. Nick Nurse put him back in the game. And it was, I, maybe somebody needed a breather. But call a timeout. I don't know. Yeah. Do something. Campaign came in for him at one point. Late, yeah, right? Yeah. That was, I mean, yeah. when the guy who you traded for <laughs> Two days ago, it's like, hey, like, I'm going to give you a breather in like the most important like part six, of the one, game. And you're 6'9", six, 6'10". Six, I don't know. Look, I on these road games, I tend to come in a little late. I then speed watch it. I basically watch a full game in about 50 minutes. Um, as I'm sitting there like watching sort of by myself because Kyle and Devon are watching live, I'm just going like, what the, f- what, what the hell are you doing? What the... And- <laughs> And we Kyle knew exactly just looks at me, he goes, Tobias yeah. again. <laughs> it only gets worse, Derek. And like all of my notes from the first quarter were either Tobias or Ricky. One of them was great. The other one was Tobias. And it's just a combination of whatever the hell he was trying to do in transition, you know, driving down, getting doubled, throwing the ball to nowhere, offensive fouls in transition, and those left-handed layup disasters. It was, and then your typical off ball, you know, being completely lost on defense. Like Kyle said, it was Maybe the worst Tobias game of the season. T. Harris in the chat says, man, lay off Harris already. Damn. He'll you say T. Harris? Are you sure that's not Tobias coming through? To, All right. Uh, shaking my head. <laughs> T. Harris, we're going off what we saw these last two. We gave him the credit for the two and a half weeks where he was rolling. And we also said when he does that, he'll get to this point. Now, when he was sick, we said it. Give him a break. He was sick. He had 28 against Utah in that game where Maxi had the 51, and he was tremendous in that game. Missed the next one because he probably shouldn't have been playing because he was still ill. Is he still sick? I don't know, but these were not good. These two were not good, especially when you are primarily the first option. Uh, yeah. with with Because Maxi early on didn't have it, wasn't looking good. And it was, Tobias, do your thing. Buddy Hill, do your thing. And everything else will fall into place. So, T. Harris, not apologizing for this one because it just wasn't good. And if he plays better <laughs> against Cleveland on Monday, he'll get his credit. <laughs> Same thing on Wednesday in the game against Miami back here in Philadelphia, the last before the All-Star break. But right now, no, he's got to eat all of that because it wasn't good. It just was not good. He was subbed at the end of the game for go get him Rick. What else do you want us to say? That wasn't us. That was the head coach who took him out. And it wasn't Tobias, I don't think, saying, hey, coach, take me out. Rick has been playing well. No, he was playing better than Tobias Harris was tonight. And the minutes were warranted. Tobias was not good tonight. Plain and simple. We do have some super chats still at a hit on our way out. We, we got, got some one. Going. Get him Ricks in there? <laughs> I, I would imagine <laughs> so. Uh, Davon, first of all. Uh-huh. Came in here again, says Tobias would be a 35 a game player in 1975. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to hate on the uh, actually, really, it's weird. I feel like the 70s is probably my blind spot for NBA stuff. I feel like it was a weird time for the league, right? Mm-hmm. Like everyone knows the Russell Wilt battles in the 60s, the 80s are the big come up for the league on a lot of levels, the 90s, Jordan owned, and then I'm like older and I know all the rest of it. The seventies exist in this kind of weird. Yeah. There was no real one dominant team. Mm -hmm. I feel like so. Yeah. I don't know. 
I don't know about 1975 Tobias Harris. I'm sure he'd be pretty good, though. The fundamentals. You know, he's got the fundamentals. As somebody even said in here, he's he's very he robotic. Fundamentally sucked. Very tonight, mechanical. But. And we said, I was saying to Kyle, I was like, he's, he's super mechanical. The ball swung to him. The ball was moving, right, as we talked about. So the ball was just popping around. And it was like, uh-oh, here it goes. It stops. It's not like Embiid when it stops because Embiid is likely to get you a bucket. Yeah. And and I think we all see the difference. And T. Harris jumps back in and says, yes, but we've been dealing with Tobias since he got here, Devon. That's the point. He's still here. And he's still an important piece yes. of if they have any chance to win a championship, he's still an important piece, T. Harris. That's the point. But And, like, so look, so we're all sitting here tonight saying they don't win that game without Ricky. Yes. We are not going to go into the playoffs and all say, like, they got to get something out of Ricky right, Council right. tonight. Like, nobody no. is going to say that. Very few people will say that about anyone beyond the top five or six guys. You cannot afford for Tobias Harris, your third most important player, to just have bad nights consistently in the playoffs. He has to deliver Game six at a certain level against Boston. for them to have a chance. That's It's not ideal that that's where they're, they're at. I understand and probably agree with a lot of people in the fan base who have said they should have moved him. I don't know for what. I don't know for who. But just to have it look somewhat different when they get to April, May, and potentially June. But they didn't. And so we have to analyze him yes. as one of the most important guys. And as that type of guy tonight, he was horrendous. Horrendous. Maxi started poorly. Yeah. But Tyrese Maxi showed you the difference between him and Tobias. He problem solved throughout the game. He said, I got to get to, I'm still going to hoist my threes despite the fact that they're not going early. And then the threes open up the driving lanes. He's still playmaking for others. Like Tyrese put it together. 15 points in the fourth quarter. That's, that's what you have to do as one of the league guys. And Tobias too often when he starts poorly just gets lost at sea and there's no way for him to battle back. That's the disappointing thing with him for me. Yeah, and it's still and look. We don't need. We're not getting into an off-season conversation here, in part because it's a game game night, in part because we're forty or fifty-three minutes into the show. But it still goes back to I just I don't really know what the best role for Tobias is, and we're five years into a hundred eighty million dollar contract. That's yeah. not great. Like on the one hand, he wants to get the same floor spots Joel Embiid tends to occupy, and he has struggled historically, or at least played a little less when Joel Embiid's on the floor because of that. But also when you have to ramp up in a game like this where you need him to be a top two or three option, you don't have confidence he's going to do that either. Defensively, you don't have confidence that he's going to pay attention off ball. You just don't know what the optimal role for him is. And for a guy who has been paid so much and is so crucial to your team and is this far into his tenure, yeah, of course... Fans are going to be frustrated. Of course, media members are going to be frustrated. I'm sure Nick Nurse, if you could talk to him truthfully, is frustrated. He's just a frustrating player. And, and again, look, T. Harris, we, we get it. We understand. And even he even jumped back in and said, y'all got me chopped. We don't have you. Sorry, we got you messed up. All right. He should have been going, but he isn't. But that's, again, the point. We have to evaluate the game as it happens. And he wasn't good. If, uh, he has a, if he has a bad game, doesn't mean we can't go back and say he had a bad game. We have to say he had a bad game because they're going to need good games out of him in order to win. 